Alright, hello and welcome back to OMSI 2. Today on a crash course on how to learn German because I, I haven't been to Germany and I don't know the language. We're going to try and drive a bus from scratch without actually learning the language. Yes, so let's start the bus, turn the key, alright. Bus is on. You can see that it's on. Alright, so, um, I guess let's start. Uh, alright. Well, we have some numbers here, okay. So I guess that's the, uh, ID that you have to use to log in. 9691. Yeah, so, you know, don't, so that people don't, like, steal your bus. So that note is gone. Um, that's sounds like course number uh, we're driving I've decided on driving the route 249 uh, typical thing would like common intuition would tell me that I have to type in the route number here yep all right so are we set uh, yep yep so yeah, I have driven this route like a few stops just to check out how the route is. It's pretty good, it's a, a 40 minute oddish route so you don't have to worry about the route being too short to actually enjoy it. And we just turn on our headlights and all that stuff. Yeah, it's a walking advertisement, isn't it? Yeah, should have picked a different livery but that's the default one it came with. Um, pretty sure that's a kneeled sign not sure um all right so if we rewind time a few minutes because the route that i picked is actually just it starts it starts at 2341 and the time was getting a bit tight there so all right so, um, yeah, so the bus stop is not here, obviously, this is only the parking, I'll drive over to the bus stop where everyone actually is, yeah, in a bit, so let's start the navigation, alright, we haven't got to the first stop yet, so, alright, whoops, put a drive, alright, you gotta put the handbrake on in order to uh, change gears. That's a good like addition in my opinion. So you don't like accidentally change gears and then drive off accidentally in the wrong direction. Isn't technology very safe and great? Yes, I believe so. But the the old people say, "Oh, technology sucks." Oh my god. Yeah, and all that stuff. Ooh, yeah, old people, right? Yeah, no one cares. All right, so no one's on the bus, which means I can just like floor it because no one would care if, yeah, no one other than me would care if I drive the bus badly. Anyway, here's the like big terminus and all that. So our first stop is just up here. And we should kind of, we should kind of wait a few minutes before actually getting here. Let me skip ahead a minute. All right. Yep, we have one minute fifty to go before we actually have to leave. All right. Open the doors. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. So in in Can this in this modern day and age. You don't have. Oh, you have tickets. Oops. I was about to say you don't have tickets, but uh, you do have tickets. But yeah, people can use that like tap on thingy. So that's cool. All right. Um, we have to wait here for like a minute. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of that. So let's skip ahead a minute and close the doors. All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, yeah, we're good. We're good to go. Alright. Moving on to the next stop. 
Yes, the beginning of a beautiful journey. Alright, so next stop is somewhere ahead. We're on time, I guess. You can hear the announcement going, that's cool, right? Yeah. You really can't hear it. I think it's a bit too muted. Because the new you know the new buses, they're all kinda like I don't know, what what would you call it? Like quiet ish thingy? Yeah. It's quiet. So I don't think um I don't think you'll be able to hear much. Not like you might want to hear much since uh, hearing is for losers, right? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um yeah, compared to the buses of like the eighties, the nineties that you know that you drive in OMSI two normally. I would say that this bus is very quiet. Like you can barely hear the engine going. Less so if I actually like turn my head and you know not actually uh like not like uh even like not use the engine like just idling like normally in other scenarios with old buses and stuff like you can't hear a goddamn thing well you, you can hear a goddamn thing like you can hear the engine going but here it's like there's nothing this quiet silence silence yeah, it's not silence um yeah so i find that comforting i guess on the other hand that means you don't have anything other than my shitty commentary to fill the boredom or something speaking of boredom why the fuck is this light still red oh my god can i get a green light here please eh. Might be a bit too much, too much to uh, actually hope for. I am kind of late, kind of, not really, okay, sure. Apparently I'm still on time. Oh no, we're not on time. We're 20 seconds late. Oh no, 20 seconds, you say? The Germans are very, very, like, peculiar, not peculiar, particular about their time stuff. Alright. Can I? Okay. I think the game was a bit like. Sie haben das Licht vergessen. Uh, I, it feels a bit unresponsive, this uh, this scenario. For some reason, it's just like, not very responsive. Like, I'm mashing these buttons, but they're not working, you know. Anyway, to the next stop. Uh, if you can hear the announcement, that'll be great. Yeah. Anyway, um. I'm sure the announcement actually There you go, that's the announcement if you didn't hear that. Yeah. It says something about the next station uh next station which is uh Steintor. There you go. Probably butcher that pronunciation. Ah oh, god damn it. Another red. Oh wow. Boy, I am so happy that this fucking entire road is filled with red lights. Isn't that grand? My fucking god. What? Oh god. They get to go. Come on, what the fuck? What makes what makes it like so that you can turn left but you can't go straight? Like there's no okay, there's no traffic turning into my like right of way. Like I have the right of Whatever. Okay. Fuck this shit, man. I'm a minute late because of these like goddamn lights. Seriously. Now I have to drive. Now I have to drive like extra goddamn hard. And my it might cause like discomfort for the passengers purely because I am goddamn late. All right. Oh, you know, you know what would be a good idea is if I actually turned. Is if I actually turned on the passenger lights because I haven't done that. I think um, that's not it. Fuck. Right, we might actually we need to go. So we'll figure it out on the way. Yeah, we'll figure it out on the way. 
Alright. Okay, what the... God damn it, what the... F Did I not close the doors? Um... The doors are closed, so... Uh, okay, right. Okay, the middle door is opened for some reason. What the hell? Um... Okay, open. Close. Okay. Oops, alright. Cool, that works. Now, about the passenger light issue. Um, ooh, how about this one? That's my own lights. Alright, uh, how about that one? That one. Okay, great, they're on. Awesome. Alright, green, go. Oh, we're turning, we're turning left here. I am a dumbass. Alright. Cool, everything worked out just fine. Yeah, no passenger, no passengers are gonna complain about the darkness that was for, you know, about a few stations there. Uh, I guess that's a stop request. Yeah, because some yellow thing just popped up on my dashboard, and yeah, I assume that's a that's a sign that someone needs to get off. Usually that happens when the yellow thing happens. Alright. No, no no pedestrians are crossing. For some reason they just turn around and go home. That is completely fine by me. Alright, so stop request here, so that means I can't skip this station. Alright. Yep. So you can see there's a camera. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a camera showing the back door because you know we have a we have a bendy bus and that's not really great in terms of visibility and interacting with the passengers. Got lag again. Yeah. If you try to interact with passengers way at the back, like you need to like have a fucking like loudspeaker and all that, you know? Alright, we got another stop request. Yeah, like, a bendy buzz, believe it or not, is actually very, like, long. It's very long. You gotta shout to even have a chance of being heard in, in the very back. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Okay. Next stop. I can't pronounce this name. Stop. Is next. All right. So I noticed that I opened both doors when I when I pressed that button. Okay. All right. So one of the buttons actually closed pairs of doors. Okay, because. In other like older buses, uh, you press you press one like thing. You press one button, and that only opens like half the door. Because I don't know, it's weird. Uh, whatever. You will not get this even. You will not get this unless like you play the game. It's just some like peculiarity in the controls. Yeah, it kind of differs across uh, different buses, which is expected, like, you can't be expected to have the same control scheme over, like, 30 years of, you know, 30 years worth of generations of buses. That's just silly, you know, you can't, you can't expect people to adapt the same control scheme as they have in the past, like, 30 years. You know, that's just like, that means you're like, dropping back, you're like, falling behind the ages and stuff, you know. I think that guy needs to get on. Yeah, alright. Alright, yo, what up? Yeah, I don't know, it's just out of habit, but I press like, so there's two buttons to open doors. And I press both of them out of habit, 
it's not necessary, I guess, because on this bus right now, you can open both the doors with one button, and the other button just opens another pair of doors, but I don't know, whatever. It's like, whatever, you know. Like, open one pair of doors, open two pairs of doors, like, who gives a shit, really? Anyway, um, this way, the arrow pointing that way leads to the autobahn, which I actually haven't been to yet. Yeah, I'm still fairly new to this map. It's a new DLC, so I, I haven't had a chance to explore it really a lot yet. Yeah. Alright, nice bus station up ahead. We're actually early by 10 seconds, wow. We've actually made up that minute. Yeah, isn't that cool? Alright, there's like a guy here. No stop requests, so... Alright. Open the doors. So, I don't know if passengers can actually get on through the back. I don't know, like... I assume if people need to get off, they would actually open the doors themselves. Like, there's a system for that, you know? Like, if I close this door... I don't know. The rear door is the automatic opening one, I guess. I don't know what, like, the purpose of that one is. You gotta, yes, it's like in Australian and basically bosses everywhere else except for America. That I've seen so far, like, um, uh, bosses in Australia, you need to actually, like, have the driver open the door for you. Like you can't just press a button on the door and have it open. You have to have the driver open it for you. And here I guess is a system of both. Like so the rear rear door, like the really, really far back door. Um you need to you need to just press a button to open that. But the middle door, the one that I have control of, you can just like open that willy nilly. Yeah, so I don't know, like it's weird, I guess. Like normally, I would think that you would have either one system across, um, like across the both the uh, what should we call it? Like just you have one system on the bus and nothing else, like. So you either have a system that needs like that needs passengers to press buttons or you would have a system where uh, the passengers the passengers don't need to do any work but you need to let the driver know that you want to get off. So but this bus has a both like have both systems. If you if you want to get out the middle door yeah, the middle door, you need to let the driver know that you want to get off at the middle door, I assume. Yeah. And on this, like, on this simulation game, I think it's a bit hard to actually see the, um, to see the actual, like, people that want to get off. Like, you can't really see much through that mirror, can you? Yeah. So, I actually prefer to have the system which I played with most in, uh, in the games. Like, the system where, um, the system where basically the passengers do all the work. Like, if they want to get off, then they can press the goddamn door button thing. And we're 50 seconds, 40 seconds early, like, yeah, early. So, I'm just gonna have a look at the actual doors, if I can. So this, oh fuck, this patch is, okay, so this is the door that I can open. Yep, I have control of that door. This is, this is the back. See if I can't get a good angle on the back door. Okay, yeah, so this is the door that the passengers need to open, because I have no control of that door. Uh, yep, you can press the button for that, that's pretty cool. Alright, anyway, uh, we're about to leave here. Yeah, the door automatically closes. So, not my doing, it just automatically opens and closes. A 
Okay, close the doors. I opened that out of habit. Alright, we're out of time. Let's go. Yeah. To the next stop. So it's weird, I guess. I don't know. It's. Yeah. I, I'll just open both the doors, anyways. Yeah. I guess the. Okay, I guess the system where. Um, where the driver controls both the doors. I think you know, I think that's kind of better, to be honest. Is it better? I don't know. Um. Okay. Right. Yeah. Pros and cons of both of these systems, and I know it's incredibly fucking boring <laughs> because yeah, I realized for like the past I don't know how long like five minutes or so I've been talking about this these two like bus door operating systems yeah well okay like chances are that if you are watching this video and you've made it this far chances are that you actually kind of care about this stuff so I will spare myself of the indignity that flows into my mind when I think about uh, like what kind of people will be watching this. The game is frozen. No, it's not frozen. Whoops. I thought the game was frozen, so I was waiting for it to like move. <laughs> but it's actually just moving by itself. Alright, um, we're late. Let's get a fucking move on. Yeah, we're 30 seconds late. Eh. Okay, I think the back door is open. No, it's the middle door again. Close the goddamn door, let's go. Alright. Yep. Alright. To the next station. Yeah. Um, so the middle door, it, I don't know, for some reason that's always like harder to uh, to close. It's not it's not even like it's not uh, it's a simulation, like you press a button and it should close, so I guess the button isn't registering properly is the problem. I don't know, there's some like I've said before, like this this uh this simulation feels a bit like finicky, like this scenario in particular, like it feels like the controls aren't very I don't know, precise, whatever you wanna call that. Alright. So I'm gonna open one door. Hold up a second, what the Hey, the passengers can, the passengers can open the second door themselves. Okay, what the fuck? But I can, I can close that too, can't I? Like the second door is open. I did, I did not. Oh my god, that was scary. Um, I did not touch the second door. Oh, okay. I, I didn't touch the second door, so. Yeah, anyway, we're a full minute late because I'm dicking about the goddamn doors. But isn't that interesting, like, isn't that fun to learn about, like, the buses and shit? Okay, maybe not, but, you know, bear with me, alright? Bear with me. Bear with me. I, I mean, you've bared it for, like, 15 minutes now, 20 maybe, so definitely you, yeah, you're, you're staying with me. Unless, of course, you are leaving, in which case I can't stop you, so yeah, have fun doing whatever you do. Yeah. Uh, next stop is there, which I just missed. Whoops. I hope the guy is not like fully mad because I missed the goddamned exit bus station. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that guy wants to get on. <laughs> Alright, so for, okay, so now I'm just opening the first door. So I wanna see if okay, if people want to get off the second door. Uh do they open it themselves? Like okay, so yeah, obviously no one's no one wants to get off here. So they can open themselves, that's a truth already. I know they can open it themselves, there's a button for it. I can see that they can open it themselves. So yeah. We're gonna see if the door actually closes by itself. 
Like, I think that's the main thing I want to see about here. Also, red lights. Bloody hell. Alright. Alright. Uh, we can't see the lights. Okay, we can see a light here. Wait, that's the turning left light. Yeah. I parked a bit too close that I can't actually see the goddamn lights. Yeah, what do you do in this situation? Like, you're a bus driver, you're in your seat, and you can't see the lights. Well, obviously that's a bad design on the uh, on the traffic light placement, but like, are you gonna, I don't know, how are you gonna see the lights if you park this close, like, your face is like over the, uh, the line already so you can't see the lights, like, what are you meant to do? Like stand up, get out of the bus, you know? Yeah. Nah. Probably not. Like what would you do? I would I would just kinda of try and lean around in my seat to see if it, see if I can see the uh, the warning lights. Not the warning. See if I can see the traffic lights. If I can't see the traffic lights then I am screwed. And I would have to wait for someone to like beep me because they get impatient of waiting. Also, lag. Alright. Yeah. So yeah, I'll wait for someone to notify me, I guess. Or maybe someone would point out to me. Like, one of the passengers might be nice and point out to me that the, uh, the light has turned green. Although that doesn't, that doesn't happen very often. Like, passengers don't actually talk to the bus drivers unless they need something. Anyway, uh, this is a nice like bus station in my opinion. It's very futuristic and stuff, you know? Yeah. Alright, so opening the first door. Uh, okay, so the second door opened, so someone obviously pressed it to get off. But does that mean... Does that mean that the door would close by itself? No, it doesn't. So, what the fuck? So someone opens the goddamn door. Right. We're meant to stop here for a bit, by the way. Yeah, so someone opens the goddamn door and, what, it doesn't close automatically? What kind of design is that? Like, you gotta check every time if someone opened the goddamn door. Yeah, that's a terrible fucking design, in my opinion. Anyway, uh, we'll pose for a picture here. This will be the thumbnail. I think. Yeah, something like that. There you go. Thumbnail. Done. Alright. Um, yeah, let's wait for another minute or so. Since this is a big station, I assumed that you have to wait here for a bit, you know, yeah. In the meantime, let's like explore the bus. So this is like the very end of the bus. I don't know, is that the engine? Um, yeah, that is the engine. What the hell? It's so small. Like on uh, on Australian like bendy buses, they would be either in the back or in the middle. Yeah, we have about thirty minutes, thirty seconds to talk about this stuff. Yeah, that's that's the whole engine. Like, look at this. Um, wait, go back, back. Yeah, look at this. This is the engine. Like, it's so tiny. I'm I'm amazed. I'm amazed at this fact that I just found out cuz it's so tiny like how how do you even make any power of that? Like I feel the power. Anyway, is this kid going to get on? Nope. All right. I'll close the doors. All right. Off we go. So we're going to stop at this sign. Alright, I stopped. There's no traffic. Moving on. Yep, to the next station. Which is... I don't know how far away. Alright. Yep, to that, that station. That station that I don't know the pronunciation of. Alright. Oh, please move. Alright. Lag. Okay. Yeah, I always scream lag when I experience lag. And it's not that I don't like Okay, fine, I I hate lag. Like who who likes lag? What the fuck? 
I can't, okay, I don't know anyone, anyone in the world that would like lag. Lag is like such a shitty, like it's it's a bad like word. Like, it's a word that means bad things. It's a word that people associate with bad things. Is what I meant to say. All right. Here we are at this station. Alright, so make sure no one opens the goddamned middle door. Uh, time... we're 50 seconds early for some reason. Can I switch this station? I mean, this uh, feed? Because this is the back door, I'm sure. Or... hold up. Oh, okay, alright, okay. So this this is the uh, the middle door. Yeah. This is the middle door, like the one that we saw. Oh fuck, if I can switch here, yeah. That is me. So this is the middle door that I can just open and close. Okay, so this, yeah, you can see that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so no need to look in the mirror because there's a uh, nice LED there. LCD monitor there. I thought, I thought that that was for, um, but well, that was for like the far back camera, you know. But whatever. Next station. Yeah, I, th I thought that like that camera was for the far back door. Cause the door back there. That's what the that's what the Australian buses usually have. They have they have um, they have cameras for the rear door in case anyone wants to get off but the bus driver can't really see like who wants to get off so they have a camera for that I guess it's the same it's, it's the same principle here I guess you know people want to get off then they can like wave to the camera or something yeah alright yeah so the bus station is like all the way Hi, up morning. there Guten Tag, I guess. Is it is it over midnight already? Maybe. What time is it? Yeah, it's uh, it's over midnight already, which I think is why someone was saying good morning. I'm not entirely certain if I heard that right, but I f I'm fairly okay. I'm fairly certain, not entirely certain, but fairly certain that he just said good morning. Yeah, that's that's the extent of my German. I can I can I can hear a good morning when I when I hear one. Also, I don't know what like what these people are doing now. So like you know, that granny looks like she needs to be in the retirement home. Anyway, uh, no stop request, and we're well, we're early actually. Yeah, we're thirty seconds early. Uh, guess we'll wait here for a bit. Uh, does anyone want to like get on? Not really. Like we'll open the doors, but I don't think anyone wants to get on. Yeah. Why is there always a pink lady standing in the uh, in the middle door way? But that doesn't make any sense. Anyway, uh, close the doors. Move. Yeah. Next station. Yep. Moving on. So skipping stations, I guess, is okay, but that means you'll be way ahead of the schedule, which is not okay. Yeah, like just uh, have a just have a think, right? Let's say let's say you were trying to catch a bus, you know, and you saw the bus would arrive at like twelve o'clock. Let's say. So 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock like rolls around and you get to the bus station but you just see the tail end of the bus because the bus driver decided that it would, yeah, it would, uh, it would be nice if he maybe got the timetable a bit early and stuff, right, yeah. But no, that means the, that means the timetable is like not correct. What the fuck? What what did I hit? I don't know what I hit. Okay. 
I don't even know that I actually hit something. Okay, right, okay, someone like rewind the footage and tell me if if uh, if I actually hit anything or maybe okay, I have to have hit something, of course. Otherwise the uh, the game wouldn't be like telling me that I hit something. Yeah, obviously I hit something, but what did I hit? Uh, is someone trying to get on? Not really, I think. Uh, yeah, no one's trying to get on. Great. Moving on. <laughs> Alright. Moving on. Yeah, what did I like? What did I actually hit? I don't know, a car probably? Well, it has to be a car since. Um, like, objects. Like, collisions with. S like the world objects don't actually count as a crash like it just doesn't I don't know um, so apparently it was like a tiny damage as well like I don't get what was that like yeah I don't get what that implies like did I just scrape the uh, did I just scrape the car maybe Maybe that's why I didn't know that I actually hit the goddamn car because, you know, I might have just scraped it, like glazed it slightly. Glazed? Grazed? Grazed! Grazed! Grazed it slightly. Yeah, I'm using words here that I don't even know what they mean. <laughs> I'm so advanced. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Oh! Green! What the fuck? Okay. I thought people were trying to like kill me, man. Like, yeah. All right, we're ten seconds late. So, is there is there a passenger here? Not really. No stop signs either. Okay. Right, moving on because there's zero people and I am like behind schedule a bit. So. Yeah, I mean, 10 seconds behind schedule, that's not, that's not really a, a big, like, you know, like a big kind of difference, but, yeah. now we're 50 seconds early, because I skipped that station, I guess, what the fuck was that? Alright, you all just saw that, okay, you all just saw that, I, what the, f what? What? Okay, no, that's going like I was not a, like, I wasn't going to like save a record of that, but now I'm actually just Oh my god, what the Oh seriously, what the fuck? Yeah, people are just moving to get off now because I've hit some poor guy that I don't even know existed. It had to have been that like guy who flew across the goddamn map. What the fuck? What the hell was that? Oh my god. Right, well, uh, it will be added to my personnel file, which I actually don't give a shit about. Like, have a look. Have a look at my personnel file. It's, uh, I'm Gaben, yes. Uh, Mr. Tim. I was born in 1990, and I was hired on April. I've driven 180 fucking kilometers, uh, blah blah blah, crashes 21, uh, Zver off heavy, not sure what that means, hurt pedestrians, 10, <laughs> rating driving, 21, what, 23.1%, uh huh, rating ticket selling, that's good because I actually only use the, uh, that's only good because I use the in-game shortcuts. Passenger comfort like 80%, so alright I guess. Uh, yeah, driving really bad. Yeah, you know, last time I checked, it was something like 30 something percent. I guess hitting pedestrians would rank your rating down a bit. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. Let's not mess with that. These are the next stops, so you won't be surprised. Uh, I think. We're gonna end up somewhere over here. We're we're almost actually done with the route. Like if you check the uh, timetable, eh, 
yeah, this is like the second last stop that we're going to in about four stops. The route ends at, let's see, it ends at 21. Okay, so we have, oh wait, it ends, oh it does end at 21. Okay, so we, it's a touch and go, so we only stop for like a second. We arrive at 21, and then we depart at 21, so it's a non-stop kind of route, which, it's, it's cool, yeah, alright, anyway. Alright, close the door, uh, is the back door open? Nope. Alright, so yeah, apparently I hit some person that I don't even know about. How is that possible? Wow, yeah. You know, this game, this game really, like, shakes up my confidence in my driving. Like, in, even, like, yeah. Not, okay, not in real life. Like, I'm fairly certain of my driving. Like, I'm fairly confident of my driving in real life. Because, because I'm, I drive, like, a small car. It's not, like, a huge, giant bus where I don't know if I'm gonna broadside somebody because like I made the wrong turn or something but yeah also this guy is trying to like turn right but he doesn't <laughs> this is like this is very much like real life scenario of um, of people trying to drive like Oh, you don't know this neighborhood? Okay, let me just like slow down for a bit and yeah, keep flashing the like right hand signal. Uh, fuck, are we stopping here? Yeah, we're stopping here and we're a minute early. How about that? Well, let's wait for another minute. Yeah, how fun is that? Yeah. It's, it's not really fun to wait, but I guess it's good for the passengers so that they don't miss the bus even there. They should actually be able to get on the bus, you know, if they arrive on time. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, the bus I drove earlier, it had like a, uh, a, a sign, like a indicator, a panel here, which indicated like any mistakes you were doing like if you accelerated too fast it would just start like beeping like oh you accelerated too fast if you decelerate too fast it will pop up again saying oh you decelerated too fast it was going off like crazy when I test drive this route yeah I said drive drove all right close doors uh, yep off we go yeah I test drove the route like it was going off crazy, so I picked a version. I picked a version which doesn't have this panel. That's quite annoying. Yeah. Alright, turn left. Yes. Traffic here. Don't want to risk that. Okay, right. That guy's turning. Yeah, that guy's turning, so we can take this. Alright. Easter egg? What the? Okay, we found an Easter egg that I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what this Easter egg's about. I feel so left out now because it's in a foreign language and I don't know what this Easter egg means. Yeah. Unless that place was actually called Easter egg and I am being silly. Alright, uh, there's nobody here, and I don't want to like block up the main road, so next stop, yeah. Apparently there's just people walking down the side of this like country road for some reason, yeah. For some reason, people want to like walk in the, at 12 a.m., no less, at 12 a.m., down like some unlit, like no street lights here, unlit, unlit, fucking unlit, like how dangerous is that, you can't see where the fuck you're going man, okay, alright we gotta stop signal here, 
Okay, um, yeah, who the fuck lives here? There's like nothing here. Why would you ever want to get off here? Okay, right, yeah, whatever. It's not my business to care about who goes where. I just drive the bus. Yeah, so that person, for all I know, for, for all I know, uh, he or she, because that was a pink shirt lady that got off again. Uh, yeah, the pink shirt lady is always at that, like, that door. Anyway, yeah, she could be, like, going out murdering some people in this, like, bush. You know this wooded area. Like it's not, it's not a entirely too big of a tangent to jump to. Sorry, a tangent, not to jump to. It's not that big of a conclusion to jump to. Since you know it's suspicious, right? Like just a bit suspicious, don't you think? Like it's the middle of the night. You know, there's no, there's nobody around, and. There's like, yeah, there's no visible, like, civilization, like, or structures or anything to speak of. Anyway, we're early and there's no people here, so we're gonna basically stay here and block the road. Because why the hell not? Alright, we're done here, let's move on. Yeah, like, yeah, she could be going out murdering somebody, or or she could be just like, you know, I don't know, meeting somebody in the middle of the forest at 12 a.m. With no buildings around, I got no idea why you would ever do that, but you know, it's okay, whatever, you know, whatever suits your fancy, yeah, okay, I don't care, I just drive the bus. Okay, we're early again. Open the door just in case any murderer with an axe wants to get on. Okay, well there's buildings here, so maybe it's not that like rural or out of out of the way, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh Alright. We're 20 seconds early, come on, yeah, time, please, go faster, yeah, alright, we're out of here, whoops, forgot to close the goddamn doors, also, I, by habit, I pressed the middle door button again, yeah, alright, well that ate up our time a bit, let's move on to the next stop. To the next stop. We're going straight. Max Planck Gymnasium. Max Planck. Hey, I know that guy. He was that physics guy. Yeah. The Max Planck Gymnasium. Wow. They named a gymnasium after a physicist. What is this? I guess. I guess they are really proud of their like scientists. Yeah. He was the guy that like discovered the speed of light, I think. If I remember my physics correctly. I think he was the guy that discovered the speed of light. Yeah, which came out to be 298. Well, 299, 458, uh, 792, yeah. Meters per second. Which is very fucking fast if you haven't if you haven't figured that out yet. Very fucking fast. Yeah, he used some sort of uh, shitty like device that was cool. Ah, fuck. Where the fuck do I go now? I'm gonna save here. Like, lol. Yeah, cause okay, we're presented with two options, I paused the game, we're presented with two options here, both of which seem like the right option, but not really, I'm gonna check ahead, so, okay, wait, so we're supposed to go to, uh, Bor, Bor Raus, Bor Raus, 249, I, 
I don't know, both of these look pretty right. So let me just check inside. If, oh fuck me. I'm in a building, wow, yeah. Yeah, do you know you can go inside buildings in this game? It's so good. Anyway, uh, okay, that's obviously not the way to go. Let's go ahead, see if we have to stop here. Yeah, uh, this looks like where everything kind of is. Okay, nothing beyond this way. So where the fuck am I going? Like, eh, shit. Alright, uh, yeah. I need to check where I'm going. Like, I haven't gotten this far in my test drive. So, this is a train station, kind of. Okay, so we're not going here, I don't think, because I don't see any, uh, kind of bus stops around. Like, what the fuck? Unless this is the, um, the edge of the loading sequence map thing, which I don't think it is, by the way. Uh, yeah, I am lost. I am so lost. Yeah, I am here. Fuck. Where do we go? What's this way? I guess nothing. Yeah. So I guess we're like at the edge of the map now. Uh, nearby style 249 Bua. Yeah, I don't know where to go. And where's the like... Where's the, uh, the terminus for this like bus stop because I have to it's a two-way journey right like you gotta you gotta go to this place and have a route back so where is it curious curious I saved here anyway uh, if I go the wrong way then I'll know I'm gonna go straight yeah all right we're gonna go straight resume gonna go straight yep okay it's a loading yeah, it's loading the tiles now. Okay, let's check the map again. Huh. Pause. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's check it again. Okay, hey, so... Okay, wow, okay. There's a lot more here now. Um, so, we don't enter here, but... We go around, and... What do we find? Uh, do we find our station here? Okay, let me... Is that okay? Two four seven, two four nine. Hey, okay, so we do go straight. Cool. Yeah, I kind of suspected that it was just the tiles that haven't loaded yet, which is cool. Which is cool. Anyway, so yeah, let's. Uh, we we're not even we're not even like late, so take this easy. You know, take it easy. Yeah. Turn. Turn right up ahead. Yeah, people are preparing to get off. You can hear people's footsteps down the down the aisle. Alright. A red light. Oh joy. I wonder how long that's gonna take me to uh to get past. Yeah. This is gonna be fun. Yeah. How fun is this, right? I am having so much fun just sitting here and not doing a goddamn thing. Like, I would like to be doing something, you know, like, maybe more than fiddling my fingers and doing that shit. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, my, uh, my time advantage now is really wearing off. Like, it's like in the Amazing Race where you hit a roadblock. And, you know, a red light is actually quite literally just a roadblock. Yeah, it blocks the road, you know. It does its thing, yeah. Wow, we're like 10 seconds early now. What the fuck? There's nothing here. Just let me fucking go. Okay, fuck, finally. I was starting to lose my temper there. Alright. How's that rear coming? Good, good, alright. Good turn, good to turn. Yeah, lag! God damn it. Please just like. Okay, thank you. 
Yeah, please let me continue the game without much. What the fuck? Oh, what the hell was that? Like, I was not turning my wheel there. What the hell? What the hell was that? Like, I just drifted into the goddamn thing. I have no idea what just happened there. It was not my fault. I, s I fucking swear, it was not my fault. Like, I was just minding my own business trying to complete this turn when the goddamn. Okay, I'm gonna hit this thing. Yep, I'm aware, I'm aware that the. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake, really? I'm aware that the bus is like half bent. Okay, great. The warning is off. Alright. I think I hit the sign anyway. Even if I reversed. Whatever. Okay, we're here. Finally. Also, I curbed that with my rear end, probably. All right, yeah. Have fun doing this shit, man. Okay, cool. We're like a minute late, but that's okay. No one gives a shit. All right. Close that door to. All right. Now what? Um. Yeah. Now what? Am I? No, I am not on a timetable. Interesting. Like, normally you would be on a timetable. Actually, you know what? It might be the last. Uh, it, it could be the last. Kind of. Yeah, it is the last, like, journey. Interesting. So, yeah. This was the last, like,. The last bus trip to this place, which is why I am not getting another trip. Yeah, right, let's uh, finish the day here. Let's, you know, just remove this wheel. Turn off. Yeah. Can I. Okay. Turn off the bus. Alright. Cool. Well. Yeah, it is done. The bus is like off now. Need to turn off the passenger lights. Forgot which one it was. Uh, might have been this one. No. Cool. All right. That's off. Yeah, we're just in a very like lighted area, lit up area, so that's why it feels like the lights are on, but they are really not on, because I pulled out the key, and the electrical systems are kinda off, I guess. Yeah. Well, uh, anyway, I will see you guys later, yeah. It's been an interesting trip, yeah. I, I think I kill someone, I hit a car that I don't even know about, yeah. So yeah, I'll be back soon, preferably soon. Got exams right now, so yeah, should be doing that instead, you know, but whatever. All right, well, I will see you guys later then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, I don't know, what would you rather have me doing? Like, I would, I would do more OMSI 2, I think. OMSI 2 would be fun, yeah. What are these buttons? I'm not sure what they're for. Uh, yeah. Ooh, hey look. Is Kit still out at 12 a.m.? Jesus Christ, Kit. Like, you need to go home. I would, I would be like scolded hard if my parents find out that I am out so goddamn late. Yeah, just messing around with these buttons here. Not sure what this does. Not sure what that. Oh, that's the handbrake. Okay. Uh. Yeah, that works. Hey, this. Holy shit, this works. 
Wow. That's cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Um, yeah, well, I will see you guys later. Yeah, for real this time. Yeah, for real, for real this time. Uh, die in Dyson Boscoffton. Okay, whatever. I'll just spare myself. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Yeah. I can't even open the doors. Because, <laughs> yeah. Alright, now I can, I think. Did the doors just open, or... Yeah, I can... It's released, I guess. So, uh, yeah. I will see you guys later. I'll just get out of this bus now, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Goodbye.